for internal tumors, particularly hemangiosarcomas, which are tumors that are growing out of the wall of a blood vessel, they tend to bleed because blood vessel, a vein or an artery, is a tube. And so if you've got something growing in the wall of a tube and that thing doesn't grow in a way that looks like the wall of a tube and it creates a leak, well, then you've got bleeding within the body. Welcome to Dog Cancer Answers, where we help you help your dog with cancer. Here's your host, James Jacobson. Hello, friend. Thank you for joining me this week on Dog Cancer Answers. We have a very interesting question and answer episode about the very hard to pronounce, especially for Americans, an even harder working Chinese herb called Yunnan Biao. Yunnan Biao is one of the most incredible herbs with superpowers that work almost immediately to stop the bleeding of wounds and bleeding hemangiosarcoma tumors, which as you just heard in the clip at the beginning of this episode, are tumors that grow directly out of the wall of blood vessels. Yunnan Biao is truly a mystical, magical, very secretive proprietary blend of herbs that are actually protected in their origination where they come from in Yunnan province in China. Now, I don't want to get into too much detail here, as I brought in our special returning guest, Dr. Damien Dressler, to do that for us. Dr. Dressler is going to give us all a quick lesson on the history and uses and benefits of using Yunnan Bio in dogs with bleeding tumors. So let's go ahead and get started with this week's Q&A episode on Yunnan Bio. Dr. Dressler, thanks for being on Dog Cancer Answers with us today. You're welcome. It's good to have you. So today we want to turn to a question that we get a lot of, and this is a question about a Chinese herb called Union Bio. I will definitely put the name and the spelling in the show notes. What is it? How do you get it? And why are people talking about it? So your pronunciation is probably a lot better than mine. How do you say it? Because I have an American accent, Yunnan Biao. <laughs> Hey, listener, it is future, James. And since Dr. Dressler and I aren't exactly sure if we're using the proper pronunciation for this traditionally used Chinese herb, we searched the internet to see if there was someone out there that could help us with this pronunciation. Turns out, everybody says it a little differently. So I thought we'd share some of those with you in this very short clip. Yunnan Bao Yao. Yunnan Bao Yao. Yunnan Bao Yao. Yunnan Bai Yao, Yunnan Bai Yao, Yunnan Bai Yao, Yunnan Bai Yao. Well, there you have it. No definitive pronunciation. And so to our Chinese and Chinese speaking listeners, we hope that you'll give us feedback on how to pronounce it correctly. And I thank you in advance for your forgiveness of the mispronunciation either earlier in this podcast or on the rest of the episode. Let's get back to it. I've used Yunnan Bai Yao for probably decades now. So it's a Chinese herb from Yunnan province, and it's used to mainly help mitigate bleeding. So Chinese medicine is a whole field in and of itself. And to be honest with you, I'm out of my depth going into all of the nuances of Chinese medicine because I'm not trained in traditional Chinese medicine as a veterinarian because it's a whole medical system. But nonetheless, we can still use some of the tools that are available to us through that medical system and filter them through the Western sort of toolbox, you could say. So it's used to slow bleeding or to stop bleeding. Like most of the Chinese remedies or therapies, it's a concoction of many different things, all that are delivered in smaller doses. And as it turns out, Yunnan Biao is considered a closely guarded national secret. In terms of the constituents that make up the product. The components, yeah. What exactly is in it? It appears to be safe, or at least generally safe, in dogs. And what's interesting about it is that it does work. It's not like it is God's gift to hemorrhage. So you're not going to stop bleeding if you cut off your toe. But it can help slow bleeding. And if you've got a bleeding tumor that keeps on oozing blood, it can certainly help your dog with that. And there are some cancers that will do that. Any cancer on the skin that keeps growing in a disorganized fashion, so the surface of the skin falls apart and starts to bleed, that's one area where I use Yunnan, and I'll just empty the capsule and sprinkle it or pack it in 
the area that's bleeding. So it works kind of like a topical cautery in the same way that there are these available products that are used for cutting nails. Mm -hmm. If you cut your dog's nail too short, you can get, it's called styptic powder. And you put the powder in the cut surface of the nail firmly and you hold it in there to control the bleeding. So Yunnan does that, but it seems to work a bit better and sting less for external tumors that are bleeding. So when you put styptic powder, that's the most commonly available, like silver nitrate powders, those really sting. And I know because I've tried it on myself. I, that When I first started shaving many, many years ago with a blade, I was told to get a styptic pencil and yeah, it does really hurt but it does coagulate the blood. Right, so Yunnan seems to hurt much okay. less as far as I can tell. They don't seem to have the same response. And so for internal tumors, particularly hemangiosarcomas, which are tumors that are growing out of the wall of a blood vessel, they tend to bleed because a blood vessel, a vein or an artery is a tube. And so if you've got something growing in the wall of a tube and that thing doesn't grow in a way that looks like the wall of a tube and it creates a leak, well, then you've got bleeding within the body. The most common location is the spleen. And some of these dogs have bleeding elsewhere as well. And so I know your dog can take Yunnan Bio internally, and that can help to slow bleeding problems. And I wrote a, a blog post on this. But one of the things to keep in mind is, again, it's under veterinary supervision, because if your dog has a bleeding tumor, well, you ought to be having veterinary supervision for that. But the short story is for dogs under 10 pounds, uh, you can give one capsule per day. For dogs 10 to 30, it's one capsule twice a day. 30 to 60, it's two capsules two times a day. And for dogs above 60, you can give two capsules three times a day. Now, I don't have a brand for you because, again, the Yunnan buyout products that I get are made in China, but they do have English on the packaging material. Again, hopefully your vet can acquire that for you. But one of the things about it is that in the human literature, and I think I've seen it in one or two dogs, it was a little bit hard to say, but there may be a little liver side effect with chronic and ongoing Yunnan buyout. Yeah. And people should be aware of that. So it's a medicinal, so it has effects. And generally speaking, things that have effects may also have effects that you don't like. If they've got strong therapeutic effects, sometimes there can be also adverse effects. So if your veterinarian is not comfortable with the UNAN by or doesn't have the experience, one of the things that you guys are going to want to work together on is tracking the liver markers. If your dog is on chronic Yunnan Bayao and you're using it for more than like a five or 10 day period, if it's going into weeks and months, you had better keep tabs on those liver markers. Another thing that I suggest to people is to give Yunnan Bayao with a little bit of oil because it's better assimilated into the body in the presence of a fatty meal. A good oil supplement are the fish or the krill oil supplements that I talk about in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide and on the blog and on the diet PDF that has oil. So if you give your UNN with your fatty acids, well, you've taken care of that. The final thing is that after about five to seven days, it seems based again on the human studies that the absorption of UNN by L will get shut down. The GI tract all of a sudden stops taking it up. So I usually will pulse it. There are exceptions, but by pulsing, I mean like five, seven days on and then like five days off or three days off. It depends on the clinical need. If the dog is bleeding and bleeding and bleeding without the UNN, there's no other way to take care of the problem. Mm -hmm. Use it every day, but keep tabs on those liver markers. And I usually combine it with some kind of liver supporting strategy, like a milk thistle type of supplement or something like that to try to keep the dog going down the good road. Other than hemangiosarcoma, are there any other conditions where you would look at union bio? Union bio is interesting because there's anti-inflammatory effects and there's some mild anti-cancer effects. I think that the other applications for that would be considered experimental right now. And I don't think that I can say, oh, okay, well, yeah, use Unam Bayao as an anti-cancer therapy for some other type of cancer. I haven't quite delved into that experimentally. And so I tend to still reserve it towards those cases where there's a need that is the same therapy that the herb was designed for or the therapy was designed for. And by the way, if you get your Yunnan, it'll come with usually a little round sort of reddish purple ball mm -hmm. in it, one or two of those, and it'll look different from the other ones. The red one pill. One pill that's different than the others, yeah. 
Yeah, one, one or two. It depends on the box. And so that's going to be the emergency pill. So don't throw that away. So if your dog is having a hemorrhagic episode that's really bad, then you give that pill again under veterinary supervision. But sometimes people are like, what's this little ball doing in my unit and bio? Well, that's the emergency pill. So don't throw it out. And so it's like you have all these other pills and then there's like one or two of these emergency pills, which are just more powerful. Yeah, they are more powerful and they look differently and they may even have different constituents. Again, I'm not quite certain. It's really quite interesting. In Hong Kong, I've seen the company that makes senior bio, they also make a type of toothpaste, I guess, presumably, so you don't have bleeding gums. It really is just a whole other world. But I love the fact that you are bringing that to something that can really help dogs with hemangiosarcoma here. Yeah, it's interesting. It's certainly caught on a lot in the conventional veterinary mindset in the oncology community. There's a study done, and I can't remember if the study was like right around the time the book first came out or after that. I'm not sure. But there was a clinical study done with a small number of dogs that showed benefit. And so kind of the presence of the book and then also this small study that came out, I think really set the groundwork for the use of particularly that herb. And it's interesting because it kind of, I think, opened the door to other systems of medicine you know, particularly in cancer, but in the conventional mindset. Because if you've got at least one reasonable study out there, well, that's the language that the Western oncologist tends to speak. And so if we can get more of those going with these different therapies, I think that'll benefit a lot of dogs out here in the West. Shortly after the book came out, a company, Dr. Attinger, she went to Taiwan to talk to veterinarians and we were on this little tour around Taiwan, very long tour. And we stopped outside of a pharmacy and she wanted to go in and get Union Bio direct from there. But the English and the Chinese didn't work very well, but it was very interesting. <laughs> but it's nice to know that it's something that is much more readily available here for everyone in the U.S. at this point. Yeah. And it's pretty safe too. I mean, I don't remember ever seeing a reaction aside from a couple of dogs that seemed to develop a modest liver marker elevation, but that was over a long period of time. And I don't know 100% that was due to the UNAN or to other things that were going on because you're not going to be giving a dog UNAN bio all by itself. There's a whole bunch of other things that you're going to be doing as part of a comprehensive full spectrum treatment plan. Even if you're a conventional oncologist who's decided to use some UNAM, you're still going to be having your pharmaceuticals as part of the mix. So sometimes it's hard when you see something like that, like a liver marker elevation. You're like, well, what is doing this? It can be a little bit tricky to parse that out. Dr. Dressler, one of the early advocates of using that here in the West, at least in veterinary medicine. Thanks for being with us today and talking about Union Bio. You're welcome. There you have it, a brief yet very helpful lesson on the Chinese herb Yunnan Bio. You know, another place that you can learn about many other supplements that Dr. Dressler recommends for dogs with cancer is the best-selling animal health book, The Dog Cancer Survival Guide. Full-spectrum treatments to optimize your dog's life quality and longevity Written, as I said, by Dr. Damian Dressler and his co-author, Dr. Susan Ettinger. That book just happens to be this week's sponsor on Dog Cancer Answers. The best-selling book has everything that you could think of pertaining to dog cancer within its 500 pages. It is packed with information that literally covers everything that you could probably ever need related to helping your dog survive and beat and manage cancer. If you need a copy of the book, well, you're in luck because getting one is as easy as buying it from your favorite bookstore or they're online or the brick and mortar variety. And for those of you who like to shop online and are a little tech savvy, you can get an electronic version of the book in a PDF format on their website, the publisher's website, and it costs you under 10 in fact, a lot under $10 because I'm going to give you a promo code where you can get 10% off. So $10 minus 10%. I'll let you do the math. The website to do that at is dogcancerbook.com. And the promo code when you check out is podcast. Again, go to dogcancerbook.com. Pick up a copy of the Dog Cancer Survival Guide. Use the promo code podcast when you check out and you'll save 10% either on the ebook, the PDF copy, or on the paperback. And the paperback has free shipping anywhere in the United States. Check it out at dogcancerbook.com. 
Don't forget, if you like listening to our podcast, you'll definitely want to receive notifications of all the new episodes when we release them. You can get those notifications by subscribing to Dog Cancer Answers for free in your favorite podcast app or on our website at dogcanceranswers.com. Of course, we are also on YouTube and Spotify. Do you need the show notes for this episode or any other previously aired episode? Well, we have you covered. Go to our website, dogcanceranswers.com, and every single episode from both seasons of our show has a dedicated page with detailed information and notes that can help you get the most out of an episode so that you can get the most information to help your dog. Our website again, dogcanceranswers.com. Something else that we have you covered on is keeping you informed on how you can best care for your dog. That's why I want to encourage you to join the growing community of subscribers for the Dog Cancer News newsletter. It's free. It's brought to you by the same publishing company and the same dog lovers who put together the Dog Cancer Survival Guide. You can get a free subscription to the newsletter by going to this website, dogcancernews.com, and you will also be alerted to new episodes of Dog Cancer Answers and information about that every Tuesday. So go to dogcancernews.com and sign up for free. You can unsubscribe at any time. Did you hear those tones? I know you did. They're here to remind me to remind you that we have veterinarians on call at Dog Cancer Answers on our listener line. If you have questions for one of our dog cancer vets, give us a call and tell us about it. We'll make sure that your question is addressed with one of our veterinary experts and it could be featured on a future episode of Dog Cancer Answers. The telephone number to do that is 808 868-3200. That is a a 24-hour-a-day listener line that you can call in any time of day. 808-868-3200. Well, friends, that concludes today's episode with Dr. Damian Dressler. Until next time, I'm James Jacobson. And from all of us here at Dog Cancer Answers and Dog Podcast Network, we wish you and your dog a very warm aloha. Thank you for listening to Dog Cancer Answers. If you'd like to connect, please visit our website at dogcanceranswers.com or call our listener line at 808-868-3200. And here's a friendly reminder that you probably already know. This podcast is provided for informational and educational purposes only. It's not meant to take the place of the advice you receive from your dog's veterinarian. Only veterinarians who examine your dog can give you veterinary advice or diagnose your dog's medical condition. Your reliance on the information you hear on this podcast is solely at your own risk. If your dog has a specific health problem, contact your veterinarian. Also, please keep in mind that veterinary information can change rapidly. Therefore, some information may be out of date. Dog Cancer Answers is a presentation of Maui Media in association with Dog Podcast Network.